Long drifting in the daydreams of novelty-starved Vita owners, Sound Shapes has finally manifested as a product you can possess and experience. While it reserves its most substantial rewards for those inclined to tinker with its toy box, there's plenty of game here too, if you'd rather just sit back and take it in. You should not be disarmed by the sunny aesthetic it puts front and center though. Sound Shapes has some jagged edges, and you're going to encounter them before too long. The campaign mode is likely to be your first stop. There are five sets of stages to go through, presented as albums produced as a collaboration of artists and musicians. Notable names include Beck, Capybara, Deadmau5, and Super Brothers. The basic grammar is platforming, but with a musical twist. Rather than simply collecting coins out of sheer compulsion, you're doing so to fill in the skeletal songs that play throughout each level. The pickups you grab add discrete parts to the symphony that nearly every element in the level is playing a part in, including, very often, the most distractingly metronomic hazards. You'll go through plenty of sleepy sequences designed to make you do just that, but Sound Shapes isn't afraid to take the gloves off. During its toughest moments, it's a real deal platformer in the purest sense, as demanding as something like Super Meat Boy. The unexpectedly endearing amoebic blob you play as can stick to some surfaces, but red ones mean death and a one-way trip to the last checkpoint you tripped. You can also press a button to reduce your friction, which causes you to detach from the surface you're sticking to and gain momentum as you fall or slide down a slope. A few levels mix up the language, introducing novel elements like vehicles and speed rails. Getting through the toughest sequences requires a fleet mastery of the basics, though failure is never too daunting a setback thanks to generous checkpoints. Going for trophies in death mode, however, which is unlocked after you complete every album, is another story altogether. The heavy measure of randomness will have you praising your luck as much as your reflexes when you make it through a stage. And if you want to master the composition-oriented beat school, you'd best come through with a finely honed ear. What it all ultimately leads to is the creation mode. As you beat levels in the campaign, you unlock components that you can use to construct game content of your very own. All the gaming doodads you encounter in each world, the monsters, hazards, and platforms can be harnessed for your own creations, and the same with the sounds that make up the soundtracks. As is always the case when it comes to building game content, it's all about persistence. If you have an interest in the intersection of beat making and platform jumping, there's plenty here to feed your ambitions. Given that Sound Shapes is a multi-platform game, it's admirable that the tools feel pretty intuitive on both the PS3 and the Vita, though the handheld gets the edge simply because the touchscreen allows you to jam in a way that the analog sticks never could. If you own a Vita, Sound Shapes is a no-brainer, especially since a purchase gets you both the handheld and PS3 versions of the game. That said, we'd also heartily recommend it to those consigned to TV play, provided you have even a passing interest in fiddling with music and or games. Few creation-oriented games make it feel so effortlessly rewarding to fiddle in this way. The cool game content in Sound Shapes feels almost like a bonus as a result.